Apple just released the iPhone 16s about two to three weeks ago, and I did put in a pre-order for mine. Mine did arrive last week. Now, there was a slight shipping delay, but completely understandable because here in Georgia, we did just have to deal with that hurricane. And luckily for my area, we didn't have too much damage. Up to our north, they did definitely get hit pretty hard. I went ahead and got the 16 Pro Max. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and first impressions with this for Two Minute Tuesday. Now this isn't gonna be kind of a full dive into it because I do plan on later this week going over my first impressions as one week use just so I'm able to get some hands on time with it before I really start to figure out what I like and what I don't like. Now before we do that, I do have to go get some coffee. Oh, that is silver sleep. Hey, what's going on? Hope you doing all right. My name is Matt. This is our great Ibs, and today we're going over iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, I'm just going to go over like a really quick unboxing and first impressions. This two minute Tuesday, I am going to try to stick to it. Just one little quick little thing before we go into it. I did miss last week. I had a lot to wait on. We had the storm at family issues, so I did miss both of those videos from last week. Maybe I'll try to make it up, but let's go ahead and put two minutes on the clock. Unboxing everything. One thing I really like about Apple is how they have a really clean aesthetic and you don't really need knives or scissors or any sharp things. Same thing when I went over and unboxed my Ultra 2. Super clean process. Now, of course, that means very minimal, right? You get your phone, your charger, and that's it. No more stickers, no more charging block, which is actually one thing that I kinda wish they did is just for the price of this, it is a premium product and it's one of those things that they should include a charging block with it doesn't cost a whole lot and it would go a lot further because it is a premium product. First impressions, and I'm gonna be comparing this to my iPhone 12 Pro Max here because that's what I have from. So we have the 16 Pro Max and the 12 Pro Max. So I'm just gonna say 12 and 16 for this video. Now, right off the bat, if you look at them, the 12 Pro Max has sharp angles while the 16 is smooth. And that's the first thing I noticed pulling this out is the rounded edges compared to it. Other than that, they're pretty similar. Weight-wise, Qualcomm Max is a little bit heavier. The 16 is gonna be a little bit bigger, but not really that noticeable. And I'm just gonna double stack them. I don't know if you can see that there. It's barely noticeable as different. Now, in terms of buttons on the side, 12 has the switch, 16 has a button. On the other side, you have an additional button on the 16 and then the SIM slot on the 12. Going to the back, the positioning of the cameras are in pretty much the same spot. I will say that it looks like the 12 has two diodes for a little flash and the 16 only has one. But other than that, they're pretty similar for their aesthetics and with their iPhones, my new differences, right? And that's pretty much gonna be it for that. You know, aesthetically wise, 16's a little smoother. You have an extra button, doesn't have a SIM slot for the physical aesthetics of it. Now later the week, I am gonna do something a little bit more in depth and I, what I really wanted is to get some hands-on time with it. We went to a car event, got to take some photos and some videos there. So if you're into that, make sure that you subscribe and look for that later this week. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. All right, I want to cut in here really quickly because I kind of forgot to mention it. I meant to, but it just slipped my mind. Now, the first two things I do when I get a phone besides activate it is I get a cover and a screen protector. Now, of course, jumped on Amazon, Looked around, bought almost the first two things that I found that met my criteria. Also on TikTok, I was sent out a case and a screen protector. Now, if you know TikTok and you hit that limit where you're able to do this, it's not very really hard to get some of these products sent out. So if you're able to, definitely go ahead. It's worth a try. The one I bought on Amazon is this one. It's a sub case. It has the MagSafe. It is clear because I wanted to see the phone. And then it has the uh, dark, I think this is supposed to be like black edging around it. It does have a little raised lip to help protect the cameras. But the thing that I wanted to do was this right here. This does not have a cutout and will cover the camera shutter button and it is a button. I don't know why they're kind of avoiding that. This is a sub case, and the one that was sent out to me is also a sub case. So I thought that was interesting. I guess just slipped my mind. It didn't make the connection there. So this also has MagSafe, but the main difference from this is uh, it's clear all the way around, and then this folds out. I guess you can get like a better grip with it, or it acts as a stand for horizontal and also vertical. So that's with it and I currently have on the one I bought but I'm gonna be switching to this one for a little bit. And honestly, when we get to these cases, a lot of them are very similar. It's just trying to find that one aesthetic that you really like. 
So there's that. Now for the screen protector, the one that I have currently on it was the one that was sent out and it works great. Comes with a, like a little contraption that you use to install it. Process is relatively straightforward, but I did have to go back and kind of lift it up a little bit to get it to lay perfectly flat but it did lay perfectly flat. I didn't have any dust or anything under it. So it did work as intended, but it didn't work exactly as they said it would. For all this, I'll leave links below. And as I said, when I do my one week review, and then I'll probably do like a one month review, I'll link accessories all for all that too. But if you're looking for either of these four items, I'll leave a link down below. Those are affiliate links. So they do help support the channel. There's no extra cost for you if you do use them. I greatly appreciate it and I know a lot of you have been using them so again thank you all and yeah that's pretty much it as I did say I am doing a one week review coming up for my next video if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you do like these videos please like I kind of really don't like asking people to do that but it is part of this and Hopefully you don't mind. Oh, I guess one, one more thing. If you have any questions about the iPhone 16 or the current software or any of that, that you haven't seen other people answer, leave that in the comments below because I really like engaging with all of you. And the best way is through the comments. And then also I do try to do my best to answer everyone who comments and make sure that I answer relatively quickly. Sometimes there's a bigger span than the others, but I do my very best to make sure that I answer everyone. So yeah, I really am gonna wrap this up this time. As always, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.